In Escape from Tarkov, dying to a cheater is more annoying than your usual FPS shooters. Every time you die to one, you lose gear. Now gear costs money. Money in this game is time. Plus you have to make a new kit, wait for another 5 to 10 minutes to find a raid. That's at least 20 to 30 minutes wasted of your valuable time. Unfortunately, the devs don't take this seriously enough or they would have done something about it. Now I don't have a magical way to deal with cheaters. I just like you die a lot to cheaters and I'm totally frustrated with the state of the game. But I do have something for you that will help ease the pain. Let this video be your gold star. Gold star. Gold star. That's that's boss. I change of plans. We're going for the boss first. Let me give you some context. I had been grinding streets for the whole day, and finally I had a raid where Kaban had spawned. I wanted to complete my quest to kill Kaban, so I went for it. That guy is a cheat. That's a cheater. He saw that peak. He saw that peak. I seven thirteen. Thirty four KD. Five hours. Next level cheater. He is wearing killer vest. What the fuck? Here yeah, the more frustrating thing is not that I died to a blatant cheater, but that cheater is playing with someone else. Even if the cheater gets banned, the other guy who is getting the carry service will never get reported. So the cheater will keep getting funds to purchase new accounts and the endless cycle of cheaters will continue forever. Unless the time for a blatant cheater to get detected is reduced and it is no longer profitable for him to keep purchasing new accounts. Sometimes cheaters just swipe away all your hard work and are not even punished for it. Before I say more, let's look at this clip. So three man. No! I heard somebody jump here. Is there a guy on window? Look at that. Dude, our lasers collide. We're friends now. It's level 60. No. Dude, I all tapped. <laughs> I I was panicking. <laughs> I panicked, guys. That was fun. He panicked too. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. GG's. Hey, this guy is thick.
This guy is not for real. Ooh, I think this guy is fishy. Dude, no way, no way. No way this guy is legit. He is so fishy, head eyes. Ah, he's definitely fishy. Look at that gear. 700 hours. 3.5 KD. And he comes in a pre-firing like that. Cheaters are smart people. They have cracked the code to hide from these low-grade anti-cheat softwares. In fact, they maintain stats such that no one would say a person with this low KD or low survival rate can be a cheater. But instead of looking at the stats, you should trust your instincts when reporting such a player. You need to look at their gameplay, their gear, and then at their stats. Also, don't be this guy. By the way, great content. If you report every player that kills you, how does that help the anti-cheat? Just imagine if there was a physical guy working and looking at the gameplay of all these reported players. Now all you have done is increase the workload. And that means the actual cheaters get more time to play before they are banned. So all you have done is help the cheaters instead of helping the anti-cheat detect them. So now that we are sharing the same feeling about having cheaters in this game, how do you actually deal with it? I wish there was a different way, but there isn't. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. You need to learn how to spend less time in stash and more time in your raids so that you don't keep wasting time moving those damn roosters around for hours. Stash management, baby. And those numbers that you see dropping on your character's page, it's a bug. And BSG has been trying to fix that for years. And they haven't been able to do that yet. And yes, there is no such thing as cheaters. Who came up with such a stupid concept anyways? Now go into a raid, enjoy the game and maybe you'll get that epic raid that you had been desiring for. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness one of my cleanest raids ever. This might be too clean to make you question everything that you have been told. Alright, I guess we could push for Pierre. Questing for, uh, we're doing cargo part 1 and... So I'll tell you the quest, we have to kill 10 scavs using an M4 and we have to go into room 306 and get a laptop, I guess. There's a briefcase and it has a laptop. There he is. I don't see anyone on gas station. I'm thinking going clearing the sniper scav now. Then we'll come back here and then we go resort. I don't see any sniper. Oh, I see one. We're back here. We're at four scavs. Need six more. Hurt somebody. Sometimes it's the shots. The shots we heard. Oh, that's who we heard. That was a player. Go back to lobby, bro. Because I'm hunting scavs here. Poor guy, dude. I feel sad for him. It was the bubble, guys. The bubble. He entered my bubble and he died. I don't think scars are here. Let's leave. Oh. They keep getting one tap, dude. We need a place to dump stuff. I think here is good. There's a dead guy here. Here we got a team above me. At least three guys. My vibe is he's above.
There could be one more. These guys are sitting at the worst places ever. Um, let's crouch and loot. Ooh. I want. I want to wear his gear. Scav running. Oh, that's a play. The player scav. I thought he's shooting my kill. So PMC Are you a PMC or a scav? He's a scav Alright, this is my quest room I think it's already looted, no point looting Take a quest item I'm, I'm happy I'm killing some scavs here That's actually good That's another PMC Should I take the pilgrim? Alright, let's loot the last player we kill. Oh, he has a black MDR. I oh, have to get that. Nice suppressor. That's it. I almost forgot. Epic raid. Let's search for black. That goes fast. Hello? Hello? Hello, man. What's up, bro? Did you get a Ledex in black any chance? No Ledex, sadly. Just Danila. Ah, oh, sad dude. Yo, bro, you from India? Yes, sir. Me too, let's go. What the fuck? You don't sound Indian, you sound like you're from Singapore. Yeah, it's because I live in the Middle East. Ah. I'm you wanna team South up? India. Yeah, yeah, sure, man. I've only looted half a black. You can loot the rest if you want. No, you can loot it. I hear a you guy run? running. Are you running? No, 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 that's not me. Alright, alright. Uh, so, we're friends. Stairs? I think stairs. I didn't hear anyone. Yeah, I hear him. I heard someone running, maybe in stairs or like the main area. Do you wanna go to like server? Yeah, let's go, let's go. with you I don't know who you are I can tell you I don't have money but 
what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. It's a three man. I think two down. Oh no! Head eyes. You think he's the guy who head eyes a friend also? Level 21, 200 hours? Oh dude, 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 dude. We, we got something fishy going on here. Makes a lot of sense. There's no way this guy. And that gun build is so stupid, so there's no way. There is no way. Listen up kid, Tarkov is going to throw punches at you, hard, unexpected, relentless. But guess what, you're not here to crumble, you're here to rise. Each hit you take is just a test of your resilience, a chance to prove your strength. If you can still keep walking, then you're in a different league, the one that is only walked by a few. When Tarkov tests you, don't back down, take the hits, feel the pain. But let it fuel your next raid. You're not made to break. You're crafted to endure. Embrace it as a challenge because with each hit, you're gaining the unbreakable spirit that'll carry you on. So tighten your resolve and face whatever comes your way. Be that unbreakable wall that not only withstands the blows but stands as a testament of your unwavering courage. You got this. The hits may come but they won't define you.